Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to create backgrounds in Google Slides. Okay. The default is a white background. So if you want your background to be a different color, you just go to background, go to color and choose a color, or you could give yourself a custom color. That's fine. So choose a color and make it your back background done. So now you will have a yellow background. Okay. Another way to create a background. So give me a new sheet. Another way to create a background is to upload an image. So background, choose image. Okay. I went to the internet and I actually Googled um, wall to floor background and I saved an image. So I'm going to choose image and I'm going to upload it in there. I'm just going to drag it. Done. So there I go. That's how I get an image as a background. And you know it's a background because now it doesn't move. So I can't select this image for it to move. It just stays put. Okay. And then you can make duplicates. So how you duplicate it is you just click on it here and then push command D and there you go. And so if you want to make a cohesive set of worksheets or packet or presentation for your presentations, then you can just duplicate it and you'll have it, um, the background cohesive for your entire packet. Okay, I'm going to go one step further with you right now, and we're going to individual individualize this background some more. I know that I build a virtual library every month for my classroom of students. Okay, so this is the background I usually use, but I also furnish my library. Okay, I already have all the furnishing I want. So I am going to copy and paste it into my background. There you go. Okay, so I can adjust it a little bit. So I know that every month, this is what I want to start with. And then from there, from here is where I'm going to build my August library, my September library, my October library, just changing up the books and maybe changing up a few of the decorations. But overall, I, I like the two chairs. I like the bean bags, this canister of pencils. I like the way it looks in general. Okay, and this is how I pretty much want every month to look like for me. So what I do now is I'm going to, now that I know I like it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file because I want to save this as a background so it no longer moves. Okay. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to say download as a PNG. Okay. Now download it right here as a PNG. Okay. And then I'm going to give myself a new sheet. So let's go to page two. And from there, I'm going to go to background and I'm going to choose image and I'm going to pull in the PNG that I just saved. Okay, done. So now this is my background. You see how none of the furniture will move? This will be my default. Okay, so I am going to get rid of the other ones. I think this was the background that moves, right? Yes, this background, you see how it moves. Okay, I don't want that one. So that page I want to get rid of right now. So this is the one that doesn't move, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this as well. Okay, now this is the one that doesn't move. Before I start, I am going to remember, remember, remember to Command D. Duplicate D, Command D, because I want one for every month of the year. Okay, so I'm going to start with my August library. Now, what I was saying about customizing it, now I can go in and customize it. So for time's sake, let's see my August library. And I'm let's say in August, we're studying David. Okay. And that's what I want to feature in my library. So I'm going to just cut and paste it in here. My August class library. And then David, I'm going to put him in for August. Okay, perfect. And then you can fill in the rest. Okay. And then because I have a duplicate, duplicate, now I'm going to go to my September library. So maybe my next one, the next month, I'm going to be studying Mo Williams with my students. Okay, cut and paste. Okay, now this month, it's a new month. I am going to have new books being featured in my library. Okay, so I hope this helps you. Enjoy planning and creating your own backgrounds. Have a good one.